Once someone asked Bill Gates how he became the richest man in the world. But Bill Gates politely replied that he is not the richest person in the world but someone else is the richest person. When asked about it he told a story when he was young. It was the summer of 1970 in Seattle. A young Bill Gates was walking down the street on his way to the public library, his mind churning with ideas and ambitions. At 15 years old, Bill already knew he wanted to start his own company someday, though he didn't know exactly what that would look like yet. As he passed by the neighborhood newspaper stand, the front page headline caught his eye, Aerospace Company Wins Major Defense Contract. An idea sparked. I should start learning more about business. Bill thought. But he didn't have any money with him to buy a newspaper. Disappointed, he kept walking. Hey kid, the newspaper stand owner called out. Bill turned around to see the elderly man waving him over. You look like you could use something to read. Here, take this one, he said with a smile, handing Bill a copy of the Seattle Times. Bill's eyes lit up. Thank you so much, sir, he replied gratefully before changing course for home so he could read with more focus. Over the next couple of weeks, Bill made a point to walk by the newspaper stand each day on his way to check out more business books from the library. And many days, the friendly stand owner would spot him and toss him a free newspaper with a wink and a smile. Bill would eagerly absorb the economic and business news, analyzing the latest deals, mergers, and market forces. He started to better understand terms like IPO, venture capital, and stock options. With every headline and article, Bill's own business ideas grew sharper in his mind. A decade and a half later, Bill Gates had co-founded Microsoft and was well on his way to becoming the richest man in the world. Though he developed software, not aerospace technology, those free newspapers had fueled his adolescent dreams of industry dominance and success. One spring afternoon in 1986, Bill returned to his old Seattle neighborhood for the first time in years. As he aimlessly strolled past familiar landmarks from his childhood, he suddenly stopped short. There on the corner stood the newspaper stand that had made such an impact on him. And there behind the counter was the same elderly man, looking just a bit more weathered. Bill grabbed a paper and walked straight up to the counter, locking eyes with the stand owner. It's you! Bill exclaimed. I used to walk by here every day as a kid. You gave me free newspapers sometimes. I just wanted to find you and thank you properly. Your generosity played a part in me standing here today as the CEO of Microsoft. The old man broke into a wide grin. Well how about that, he said with pride. I'm thrilled those newspapers helped put you on your path, young man. Bill pulled out his checkbook. Well, now I'd like to return the favor. How much do you need for repairs or inventory? New equipment? Please, let me invest in the stand that invested in me. But the old man quietly waved his hand. I appreciate that. But I gave you those papers because that's what you needed then. An act of kindness with no strings attached. I helped you when I was poor but you want to help me when you are the richest person in the world. There is no comparison. I can't take anything now just because you want to repay the favor as now you're rich and powerful. Bill nodded slowly in understanding. The old man was right, his generosity had been freely given from one human to another. There was no debt to be repaid, no matter how much Bill's position had changed. Well then at least let me buy all your papers for the day. Bill said with a gracious laugh. He pulled out a wad of cash. Now that I'll happily accept, the old man said. As he passed over a stack of that day's news, their eyes met again in a moment of deep connection. 
Though worlds apart in wealth and stature now, in that instance they were simply two people sharing a profound, full-circle moment one grateful, one generously giving, both changed by the power of a small but meaningful act of human kindness.